Hi, my name's Ryan, and in this video, I'll be discussing VTI support for native code coverage instrumentation and collection at test runtime. Code coverage is an important tool to evaluate the effectiveness of tests in exercising the underlying HAL implementation. There are four main steps involved in producing coverage overlaid source code from test runs. Step one involves collection and storage of build time coverage artifacts. These will be needed later in order to interpret the data collected from the Android device at runtime. Next, test will execute against the coverage instrumented device implementation and produce runtime coverage data. In steps three and four, basic block level coverage information is generated so that it can be overlaid on the source tree in the final step. Supporting coverage instrumentation in the build system is a key component to producing coverage reports. The Android build system has been extended to support coverage instrumentation and packaging at build time with the use of two flags, native coverage and coverage paths. The former must be set to true in order to enable the functionality in the build system. The flag coverage paths is used to specify the list of source paths to the files which will be instrumented for coverage. Any source files which have any of the specified paths as an ancestor will be instrumented with GCOV coverage instrumentation. Now I will step through the coverage processing flow in VTS and VTI. First, the continuous build server compiles a specially instrumented device image in the coverage artifact package from the source code. Next, the VTS framework runs the test logic against a device flashed with the instrumented device image. This automatically produces runtime execution counts for each instrumented module. Finally, the VTS framework processes the runtime configuration data with the help of the coverage artifact package in order to produce per source file coverage summaries. The result is uploaded to the VTS dashboard where it will be overlaid on top of the original source code. The resulting report on the VTS dashboard displays covered lines as green, uncovered lines as red, and non-executable lines such as comments as white. For more information about how to use VTS and VTI for coverage collection, refer to the documentation in the video description.